Hi guys, welcome back to our third part in our SQL Server Express programming using Microsoft Excel VBA. Uh, in this tutorial we're going to be creating a database inside of the uh, SQL Express server using Visual Basic for Applications. First thing you need to do is go to the code editor. You can do that by selecting developer tab. If you don't have a developer tab, you can you can enable it uh, easy enough by selecting file, options, and then on the left hand side here in the menu bar, select custom ribbon. Over on the right hand side here, um, under main tabs, you'll see developer. And if yours isn't selected, then select it. Press OK. Failing that, you can press Alt followed by F11. And get your code editor drop. On the right hand side here under VBA projects, right click, insert module okay type in option explicit so it does type test checking for you you can get it to type that in automatically by going to tools options and then under here uh, check require variable declaration uh, if you don't like getting those noisy pings coming back at you when you make mistakes you can uncheck auto syntax check select ok and that's it next thing you do create our subroutine okay so in this particular case we're going to create a subroutine called create table so we type sub short for subroutine create table enter 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 then we need to create a handle to our connection and then our connection string and these are um, simple dimension we're going to call this object connection as adobe adodb okay if you notice it hasn't popped up in our uh, intellisense text window here that's because we haven't set a reference yet so what we're going to do now before we go any further is we'll go to tools references slide all the way down until you get to Microsoft then under ActiveX data objects library select the latest one you've got click OK and now when we type our doing DB dot it should pop up I assume we'll get it right or not hang on a minute what we got wrong going here? A D O D B. There we go. Dot connection. Okay. Next one. Dime, and this is going to be our connection string. So we'll call it an S T R. Connect string S T R. Catch turn. Catch turn. Okay. Oh, not forgetting to put as string at the end here. Otherwise, it's going to get a bit confused. Okay, then we build our string. Now, an easy way of building our string is as follows. Okay, so I'll minimize my S my uh, Express at the moment. Uh, sorry, my code editor and my Excel, and then I'll right click on my desktop. Okay, and I'll create a new text file. And this is a very handy little tip. You like this? Um, new text document. Okay, change the extension from text to UDL. Okay, <coughs> click outside the window. Okay, and you'll see that this has created a uh, Microsoft Data Link file. Double click on it. Okay, drag her up. And then you've got to uh, select connection. You go to provider, make sure it's on MS uh, or DB provider for SQL Server. Go to connection, right, and then in here you should have your server um, name. Okay, so in mine you can see I've got my PC name, so I need to f uh, f follow this with a backslash and then the name of my server, which is SQL Express. You need to do the same. Okay, and then up here under enter information to log on to the server, we're going to use Windows NT integ integrated security. Um, and then down here under select the database on the server, we're going to leave that blank because we're going to try and create the database using our VBA in our Excel application. Okay. So with all that done, hit test connection. You should hopefully get test connection succeeded. If you do, click OK. If you don't, check your parameters and try again. Click OK. Now right click on your folder and go edit with Notepad or whatever you use. OK, and in here you'll see that you've had a connection string created for you, which is rather nice. So we'll highlight that, we'll control C it, put it into memory, we'll put our spreadsheet back up. Okay, along with our uh, application. Okay, and then here, and here we're going to type str connect string str equals quotes control v to paste our connection string in followed by a quote. 
Okay, nice and simple. Another cage return, another cage return. Okay, so the next thing to do now is to um, set up the connection to the database. So we do this quite simply by typing in um, set space and then our obj connection handle equals new add do db dot connection okay select tab catch turn catch turn and then in here we need to open up our connect string so again obj connection dot open and then in here we put our connect string so str connect str tip catch turn now that should hopefully create uh, at least open up a little create handle to the database and open up a connection to the database but it won't have actually created a database at the moment it'll just, it's just talking to the server and uh, set up uh, a link to the server as it were so the next thing we need to do now is to um, create the database <coughs> excuse me so we do that by setting up um, uh, an SQL command so we do that by typing obj bj connection dot execute okay so we're going to execute an SQL command and then we're going to put up double quotes create space uh, database space and then the name of our database so we're going to call this one uh, what we're we going to call this one? We're going to call this one demo database. Okay, and then we we'll put a quote in there. Catch return. Now that should create us our database. So before we start filling the database, creating tables and whatnot, we're going to um, we're going to close the uh, connection. Object connection. Dot close. Um, and then we're going to set that to nothing. Make sure we get all our memory back. Connection. Oops, sorry. Equals nothing. Okay. That's that. And we'll try that. So we can simply just step through that using um, F8. So we'll click inside the uh, subroutine window and press F8. <laughs> okay. Firstly. Let's not forget to put set in front of a connection down here. Let's try that again. F8, F8, F8. So we've assigned our connection string to um, our connect string, get our handle to the database, um, open a link, and then execute our create database command. Hopefully, after a few seconds, um, that'll come through without any errors. So that's a good sign. Um, then we'll close our connection, and then we'll free up the memory, and then we'll end our routine. Okay, so let's have a look inside our database and see what it's done, um, or inside the server and see what it's done. So what you need to do is run your uh, SQL Server Management Studio, okay, do a Windows Authentication Login, connect, and look up under Databases, drop her down and have a look, and there you see you've got Demo Database created. If we look inside there under Tables, click on Tables, right click, um, you'll see there's no... no um, feature to uh, show tables in there at the moment. You can create a new one, we're not going to do that because we're going to do it within code, but you can see there's no tables in there. Okay, so back to where, uh, back to Excel, back to our VBA code, and now inside here we are going to create a table.